hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so let's solve this very interesting interview question and this question can be asked for your online uh, assessment test as well okay so basically we have a switch based rc circuit okay like that and we have two switches s1 and s2 and here it says that uh, both or both of the switches are closed before t equals zero okay and at t equals zero plus this both of the switches become open okay and we need to find what is the time instant at which this v out node goes to 2.5 volt okay and we have two input that input is minus 5 volt and that input is plus 5 volt okay so now how to uh, like uh, we will be solve we will be solving intuitively okay mainly so let's have a try so now we need to uh, make a circuit before t equals 0 okay so let's say t equals 0 minus what will be the circuit so circuit will be looking like that this is minus 5 volt this is plus 5 volt this is the cap c1 and this is the cap c2 and this is grounded and this is one ohm and both of the cap are three farad okay so these are the initial conditions okay this is the v x this is the v out okay so now we can see that vc of vc1 0 minus is 5 volt vc2 0 minus is minus 5 volt okay so these are the initial condition we can say okay and we can see that uh, so this was the yeah so this was the uh, t equals 0 minus now what will be the t equals 0 plus so t equals 0 plus both of the switches are both of the switches are open right so it will be like that now what do you think uh, like uh, or like how how the circuit will be so we can see that uh, so th this was previously 5 volt and uh, this was previously minus 5 volt okay so now we can see that there is a resistance present so the current through the uh, circuit cannot be infinite okay so so the current through the in, uh, capacitor is finite so the uh, capacitor will hold its previous voltage right the property of a capacitor it will hold its previous voltage okay until there is an infinite current so we can see that there is a resistance and let's say this is plus 5 volt and this is a minus 5 volt so there will be a finite current let's say the instant current will be uh, 5 minus of minus 5 divided by 1 okay some let's say 10 10 ampere so that is this is a finite current okay so the capacitor will hold this voltage okay it will not change instantly so we can make that vc1 of 0 plus is also 5 volt and vc2 of 0 plus is also minus 5 volt right now we need to find what is the uh, what is the time instant so this ca so i we can see that this is 5 volt and this is minus 5 volt okay now what will the circuit will be so this capacitor will discharge through that path and this capacitor will charge right this because this is a like uh, the charge uh, across this c1 is much larger than this C2. So the current will flow in this path in this direction. So this capacitor C1 will discharge its charges and the C2 will get charged. Okay. B by this current. Okay. By this current. Okay. So now we can see that intuitively. So this capacitor is discharging. So it will come down like uh, uh, 4 to uh, 5 to 4, then 3 to 1, like that. And this voltage will rise up from uh, minus 5 to minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 minus one like that so now what what do you think what will be the steady state voltage across these two nodes so we can like intuitively we can see this will be zero and this will be zero so there will be not like not any current flowing through that circuit so this will be steady state right why zero because this like this capacitor is discharging and this capacitor is charging so if these two potential become same so the current through that uh, uh, resistance will be zero so that is our steady state and we can see that if, if this is minus 5 volt and this is plus 5 volt the steady state will be occurring at zero potential in a, like if this discharges like uh, like if it if it discharges from 5 to 0 and if, if it uh, like charges to from uh, like around 0 right it will from uh, charges to minus 5 to 0 so then it, the uh, steady state condition will happen right so now so this is the intuition uh, i will uh, ensure you how we can get this zero voltage okay so we can see that total charge remain always same right total 
charge is always same charge from the charge conservation law okay is is always constant okay always constant so total initial charge will be total final charge right total initial charge equal to total final charge so what was the total initial charge so capacitor q1 and capacitor q2 will give like the c1 c2 will give q1 and q2 and at steady state we know these two node potential will be same so this will become a short circuit right because no current can go through that resistance so the ir drop will be zero so it will act as a normal single path okay so v out will be vx at the steady state this is c2 and this is c1 okay so now how do we get total charge so this will be uh, again q1 final and q2 final okay so this is initial initial and this is initial so q1 was uh, like the c1 times 5 plus c2 times minus 5 again this will be v out times what will be the uh, like the these two node will come in parallel right these two capacitor comes in parallel so this will be added so this will be six so, so this is the multiplication okay so six right so now we can see that this is c1 equals c2 okay equals three farad so this will be zero okay so we can see that the v out will reach zero at the steady state zero volt okay so this is the mathematics behind it and i was saying intuitively how this node voltage becomes two node voltage becomes zero and that ensures the steady state okay so now we need to find the v out uh, like the time at at which the v out reaches to 2.5 volt okay so we know that the voltage across the capacitor always flows follow this type of expression right so we need to find the v v out node so we are considering about the capacitor c1 okay right now here what is the tau here and we, we already find the what is the vc of infinity right and we have the initial conditions like that okay for the c1 so let put that value now we need so this is the time instant we solution and we want this will be 2.5 volt according to our question right and and before that i want to uh, i want to make the time constant okay now what is the time constant of this circuit so for finding time constant we need equivalent resistance and equivalent capacitors okay now we can see that there is only one resistance so r equivalent is nothing but r itself but what is the C equivalent? So we can see that we need to find what is the uh, total capacitance connected across this resistance. Okay, let's say this is A and this is B. So we can see that if I remove that, so these two resistance comes in series. Okay, so equivalently these two resistance comes in series. So this will be C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2, right? For the capacitance, right? This is the equivalent capacitance. So don't make it parallel combination. Okay, so this is the important point here. So these two resistance, the equivalent resistance will comes uh, in series, okay, with respect to this R. So now, so this will be nothing but 3 into 3 divided by 6. So this will be what? 1.5 farad, okay, because uh, the individual capacitance was uh, 3 farad, okay. So we will, I will put that value here, okay. So this will be 2.5. This will be steady state. What is the steady state? 0 volt, right? We have already calculated. Uh, zero right so this is the zero steady state okay so let me do this thing steady state into six okay okay so now so this is zero and what is the initial condition so this was five minus zero into e power minus t by tau so tau is here 1.5 okay just we need to this calculate this t okay so now if we calculate this carefully so this will be uh, half right half equals t power minus t by 1.5 so if i do further calculation 2 will be equal to the e power t by 1.5 so ln 2 will be equal to t by 1.5 so eventually so from that eventually we are getting uh, t equals 
uh, 1.5 times ln 2 okay so this is the final answer okay so this is the first question we have to answer that right so the time instant is nothing but t equals uh, 1.5 ln 2 second okay so this is the answer and the what is the steady state value of v out and vx so this will be zero okay so now if i if i want to plot this v out and vx what will be the thing plot let's say this is v out and this is vx plot okay with respect to time what do you think what will be the case so we know that initially it was it was like plus 5 volt right plus 5 volt and it was minus 5 volt okay so this was minus 5 volt right and this is t equals 0 and this is also t equals 0 now here now what will be the uh, like the charging or discharging uh, like the uh, what will be the nature so this will be exponential right this will be exponential discharging of c1 and this is exponential charging of c2 right so this is also vc1 and this is vc2 now it will discharge exponentially to zero and this will charge exponentially to zero so this was the final complete answer okay so i think it was a very good question uh, and the main trick was the uh, finding the time constant okay by putting this value and finally we, you will get 1.5 into ln 2 second okay so thank you everyone you can put your valuable feedback thank you